So we're here at the Flying Pig Hostel, having lots of fun uh, here on uh, Vossio Strat. So you can see the lads here having a great time. We've got Nick, maintenance man. He's thinking he's going to come out. We let him out here. How are you, Nick? You're looking uh, you're looking nice days. and relaxed. You've had better days. Better what do we got here? A bit of a flood going on, I see. Here's the great team. Hey, we've got uh, we've got Terry here. The fuck's going on, brother? <laughs> How are you doing there, Sam? Having a good day? We're making a pool. It's a bit hot. <laughs> we're preparing for the summer. That's what's happening. So, lads, for someone looking to visit the Flying Pig uh, Hostel here next to Vaudeville Park, uh, can you give anybody a little rundown of what to expect? <laughs> to get wet. You can see here the lads are uh, tapped into a natural spring. Very nice view. Oh, let's please record, they come so fast. It's not funny, bro. No, it's not funny at all, man. This is really bad. You can't do anything, bro. Please let them come soon. Got Cedric now here on his day off, loving life. It's the uh, French maintenance man here at the Flying Pig. You can expect great service from, from Cedric. Maintenance man extraordinaire. I think Terry's gonna try uh, an old school scoop. Oh, sorry, bro. Sorry. Oh, fuck. sorry French maintenance man out. has been injured. Yeah, the freshest water only here at Flying Pig Hostel. Look at that. Oh, you can taste it from a holy spring. Essentially, it's like a small lords. What you're getting here is a, a basic uh, history on, uh, on essentially the entire Netherlands. Of course, we all know the story about uh, the little Dutch boy Hans Brinker who stuck his thumb in a dike to stop the Netherlands from flooding. Here we have a similar story, except it's Terry. Don't let Nick's giant muscles fool you. He's come with essentially a, a shot glass while Terry is doing the, uh, the Goliath lifting. This isn't funny, guys. Here at the Flying Pig Hostel, we want to give our guests the most Dutch experience possible. So we're in Amsterdam, below sea level. So essentially, we're trying a new thing here at this hostel. We've actually attempted to put the hostel underwater. It hasn't turned out exactly as we'd expected, as you can see here. Staff are now shoeless and breaking into the Dutch floor. It says water, yeah. Trying to see where the water's going. Just couldn't handle it. Ah, perfect. Seems like they're after finding the uh, the water source here. So we've actually had this water blessed by Saint Christopher, and he's the uh, the patron saint of travelers. So all this stuff here. Yeah, I thought that on the Shall I put it on the Yeah. Does, doesn't, get, doesn't get fresher than that. This is the real deal. So when you come to the Flying Pig Hustle, be assured, only the freshest water for you and all our guests. I'm going to call the fire department as well. Call in the fire department. Maybe they can come and add more water to the situation. How are we getting on a reception there, guys? Oh, having a bit of a party in here as well. And as you can see, uh, it's smoker friendly. The floor is covered in pot. The receptionist also has a bit of pot on her. So you know it's that kind of place. So all, all Dutch, all Dutch children learn this in school, I guess. Yeah. It's very, very interesting. Here. Flood training every month. Oh, some kind of machine or something. Let's, uh, let's find out what's going on here. The Dutch use every weapon in their arsenal in the never-ending battle against rising water levels. You see here people are fleeing the sinking ship. Not since all those brave souls who gave their life running into the nuclear reactor in Chernobyl have we seen such selfless acts as uh, the staff throw themselves into the fray. Doing great work, lads. Great work. Keep on holding it, Doug. <laughs> How are you doing, man? I'm, I'm a bit moist after this experience. A bit moist. <laughs> so uh, we're really in for a treat here today. 
Um, one of the greatest honours that can happen in Dutch society is for the very guardians of the water themselves to come and bless your new spring. So uh, here at the Flying Pig, we're very, very fortunate to have um, some of these these robust guardians of all things H2O, Vaternet, uh, and uh, we're going to get a little ah oh, motherfuckers. Okay, we were we were at this for quite a while trying to get it to stop. Watch in real time as the Dutch show their mastery over water. No history lesson required here, lads. Since uh, the 1200s in this swamp called Amsterdam, people have been doing shit like this. Look at that. All it takes is a little twist. The blessing is taking place here. You've got one of the, the bishops of Dutch water who's come to, to have a little somber moment here with the new spring at the Flying Pig Hostel. Okay. And I presume you're all being paid overtime for this. Yeah, I hope so. Beautiful. I can double time. All right. Excellent, man. Thank you. Thank you for the interview.